Let's check out the 3 bedroom premium unit. So this unit is 1163 square feet. It has 3 bedroom and with 2 attached bathroom. And it comes with an enclosed kitchen. Come, follow me. The living and dining space for this 3 bedroom premium is really very good. As you can see for the living area, you can easily fit in a 4 seater or an L shaped sofa. As for the dining, you can fit in a 6 or even 8 seater. While you walk down this aisle, you can fit in maybe a cabinet space or a piano. So the kitchen for the 3 premium is actually an enclosed kitchen. But what is special is you actually have a folding window which allows you to open or close this kitchen itself. As we enter the kitchen, you can see how spacious this kitchen is. Similarly to the two bedroom, they actually come with a spice rack and they are all equipped with smack appliances. The only difference is for the three bedroom, it actually comes with a gas hob. So behind me is actually a window that gives you natural ventilation to the kitchen. The kitchen is also connected to a toilet as well as a bomb shelter which you can use it also as a helper's room. So on my right, you actually have a common bedroom which you also can easily fit in a queen size bed. And then on my left, you can see this is your common toilet. It is also the attached bathroom for bedroom 2. So bedroom 2 itself can also be served like a junior master's. It is come with an attached bathroom. And this bedroom itself can easily fit in a queen size bed. As for the master bedroom, it's really, really spacious. Besides putting a king size bed, you can still put a vanity top. And besides this, you can also have your vanity compartment. And same thing, wardrobe is all the way to the top. Of course, it will also come with the attached bathroom, similarly to the two bedroom itself.
When we design, we look at the site, we feel the surrounding, we understand the challenges of the site. As a designer, you must have a vision of the thing that you want to create in this development. My name is Kok Tai. I'm from ADDP Architects, the architect for Sinica. When we first appointed architects for the project, we realised that Tanah Merah itself means Red Cliff in Malay. And in the early days, if you are uh, taking a boat, you can actually see the Red Cliff uh, around this area. That's why we take strong inspiration from that concept and reinterpret it in our own design so that the earth tone, the facade, the way the building is being put, the connectivity that is being connected is how the concept comes about in relation to the site context. The design now basically is two residential blocks pushed all the way at the back away from the MRT line with a lot of community space on the ground floor. If you are staying in this development, you can come down from the MRT uh, covered Linkway, even rain or shine, walk into your retail commercial area, you can buy your grocery, you can buy food, and then after that you can take the lift up right into your residential unit, seamless connectivity. The beauty is that the moment you take your lift and go up to your residential, you are basically on your own private uh, zone. You will not hear any of the sound below, you will be in your own sanctuary, facilities, your clubhouse, swimming pool, and I think that's the beauty of that. The idea of placemaking is actually a design process to give quality public space for public to live and also to, to play. We envision that people from further down will come down to Seneca for their daily use of groceries, their needs. We are not only looking at the community within the Tanama area, area, we are actually connecting the community outside the Tanama area. So this is actually part of the bigger uh, concept that we are looking at.